Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am up against my wall, doing DIYs, doing what I do. Um, so anyway, so today I am going to do three different craft Pier 1 inspired DIYs. Um, I never shop at Pier 1 and now I know why. <laughs> because their crap is unaffordable I'm not kidding you like these crafts I'm gonna do are these like remakes what we could call these inspired inspiration crafts I don't know we'll come up with something right different like floral centerpieces whatever wherever you want to put these things I think I'm gonna put one in the bathroom actually because I don't have anything in my, our bathroom anyways so they range between like 30 and like 60 bucks and I bought everything at the Dollar Tree so here's another Dollar Tree craft as well and I'm not saying that I probably didn't spend I, I'll total everything up at the end but this video is the first video that I've actually been like really well prepared for because I had to make sure that I had everything to do all these and I do and I'm gonna do this and I can't wait and I can't figure out which one I want to do first actually I do know that okay I'm gonna show you how freaking organized I am this is incredible okay so here is one of my things I'm gonna do I'm gonna paint this I was really hoping I'd have the they didn't have the flower one this one says floors 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 uh well okay <laughs> um, so I got chalk paint this is just in white and then I got some lavender da -da. okay that's one and then here's the other one it's just these three things right here four things right here and then the other one see look how like organized this is I got this little vase right here and then these and then good old twine and then a bunch of like floral I don't know hopefully I can make that work and then I got these little wire cutters from the Dollar Tree so we'll see if those even work. okay so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint this and I'm gonna be like a lazy painter and I'm not gonna take the sticker off I'm not gonna paint the bottom and I'm not gonna paint the inside because I think even on the pier one picture which I'm gonna show them above everywhere of like what I'm trying to make versus like what I made I have to figure out how to do that <laughs> so hopefully I can come up with that or this video is just gonna be just stupid okay so I'm gonna paint this I'm gonna get going on that and um, I actually have I usually use a knife to open all my painting um, my paint cans but we actually have two of these so cool facing back and forth oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here all your shots have scored no scratching at the scars you left on my skin but we fight and we fall and we rise through it all till we find what we want and we lose it all again your touch on my skin pull me close take me in just me just you I like thought I was done with one side I like laid it on the other side <laughs> and then I just had to like keep redoing it so anyways um and no I don't take my rings off which I totally should like how how stupid of me not to take rings off when I paint well I didn't so now I am going to start oh my god my glue gun <laughs> um just like ran glue all over the floor but it's okay because that's fine okay so the next one I'm gonna do involves just these three pieces and then i'm going to use a hot glue gun for this one shoot i need to get some scissors thought i had everything here hold on like you know you just don't want to get up so you just try to see if a butter knife will cut through this like i'll let you know if it does in a second actually you can just watch and we'll see it does look at sweet don't get up so right here I'm just wrapping all the nautical rope around the vase and I only had to glue the 
top row with hot glue and then right at the bottom I'm going to end up gluing the bottom together just so it doesn't fall apart and then I'm going to cut the end and that's all I'm doing for this. And then I'm going to be adding the little floral foam on the inside and I decided to take these out because you could see the foam so I decided to cover it with moss because you know it's my favorite. And then I'm just going to poke those back in and voila that is it for this craft. It's amazing how fast things can get done. Okay, and the finale is at the end, and this shows what I tried to make from Pier 1 and what it is called, and this was $39.95, and this only cost me $6 to make. How incredible, right? And I hate to say this, but all of my crafts are pretty self-explanatory. I'm either going to use hot glue, I'm going to use spray adhesive. This time, I'm going to use good old hot glue to put the twine around just the top part of this vase and hot glue and twine are not my best friends when they mix but it did the job and I just did the top part again and then I just wrapped it around a bunch of times and then just glue the end piece and that is all I did. So since that part's done, I'm just going to add these little floral decorations. I call them moss balls, you call them whatever you want. But I'm just trying to place them in there so you don't see the stems of the flowers. Which it took me probably a billion times and then I rearranged them once the flowers got in there so that's all I'm doing and then I'm just going to cut the flowers and just rearrange the floral arrangement to my liking. Broken.
Okay, you guys, since this is the first like inspiration video I've ever done, these like prices like make me go insane. But 45 bucks, are you kidding me? This one only took about six dollars to make as well. So amazing. Yeah, I'm feeling stuck, maybe out of luck. I'm falling in and out of time. I hope that you come home. Please pick up the phone. I need to know if you are fine. I know I'm running away from moments. What am I becoming? I guess something's broken. Okay, so this last one I'm gonna do is the one with the lavender. And I thought this one would be the easiest and I think this one is going to leave me a giant blister on my hand because when I was like looking at the lavender stems, I realized that I had to cut like every single flower off of the bushes, like off of like the little bundles. So I probably cut, I don't know, I'll probably count these because yeah. But anyways, I'm going to have like a blister on my freaking hand from this. It hurts. Those like wire cutters suck, but um... They make do, I mean, for a dollar. I always expect so much more out of Dollar Tree stuff for some reason, I don't know. Maybe like if I was gonna cut flowers more often, which I'm not like a big giant like flower person, but I like really thought this was cute. So anyways, I probably cut like 30 of these. See, look, I had to cut like every single one so none of them are attached to each other. And I keep adding moss, and I know moss isn't in any of these um, crafts, but I don't know how to cover the foam up, like to shove the little, shove the flowers and stuff inside of it. So I'm just using moss to cover it. And well, I love my moss, so that's totally okay with me. So I'm using it. Those little moss decorative ball things, those are like a bigger mess than regular moss. It's like this fine little green crap that's all over my floor. I don't even think like my broom's gonna pick it up. Probably gonna just like vacuum it up. So, okay, anyways, I'm gonna shove these all in there and then we're all done. All right, so now I'm back to this one and this one I'm just adding all the lavender in and I'm gonna call it a day, girls and boys. all right so here's the big reveal of my finished product versus what I tried to make and this looks pretty dang close except mine cost about ten dollars versus paying $39.95 Okay, you guys, so now I'm gonna show you my mess because, well, it's what we do every single video. So I'm gonna turn it, turn it, turn it. And voila. Here it all is, guys. Moss everywhere. I didn't even use spray adhesive, thank God. I didn't want to really use that. And then I had extra glue sticks just in case. And then, oh, that guy got away. We'll just put him in here. There we go. And then this big giant mess. And then the creations. Paint, paint brush. Oh god, I gotta wash that out. It's awful. So here's this one. This one is like not perfect. And it doesn't really look like Pier One, but it was really hard finding um like flowers and stuff that actually match that. But I knew they had these and I knew they had little containers like this and twine and stuff, so I thought can throw our own little pole on here but um i think this is <laughs> so stinking cute i absolutely love this one and um the twine i just wrapped it around um didn't even before i was done so i just glued like the end in and that's it so i didn't even glue any of this other stuff in but really think this one's cute this one was like my most favorite it's the most like awkward one because it has like such a little base and i think even the one in pier one has like a smaller actually i don't know if it's like in a I don't know if it's like a rope vase or what, but um, anyways, this is what I came up with and I wasn't just going to try to glue rope together because there's no way. 
but um, I think this turned out really cute. I thought it was the most awkward, but yet the most like elegant looking one and like the most cutest one because you guys know how I love my grass right here. So anyways, so yeah. And you know, I say um so much. It's so annoying. I like have to edit so much of my ums out. It's just, it's me nuts. And then I like catch myself saying it now and I never knew how much I said it until I did videos. But anyways, I love this one. This one turned out, this one's probably like my favorite one that turned out. I don't know, it's a toss up between these two. It really, really is. Um, and then this, um, 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 and this one, um, okay. And then there's this one. And this one I thought was this, so cute. And I knew they had like lavender there. And I was too impatient to let watch, let everything dry. So I got paint on my floor, of course. And I just realized that the side of this side is like where I hit it with a bag. So hold on. Seriously, like I'm the worst painter ever. I hate painting. But I was actually going to leave it like just in that um, galvanized color type thing. But that's not what Pier 1 had. Pier 1 had white. So we do white. Um, so guys, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like videos like this and you want me to find more inspiration through very expensive companies, um, let me know. And if you like videos like this, leave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love if you'd subscribe to my channel. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I guess the more you guys like these, the more I'll just do them because it's fun and I really enjoy it. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.